What's up, everybody? Back with more Opeth. This is Hex Omega. All I know is when I was pulling the video up, they had a suggested video for this song, and it said Mosh something or whatever. So I'm like, okay, this is this is gonna be fucking good. I'm wasting time. Hex Omega. <laughs> It's already fucking crazy all over the place. Like, I keep trying to bob my head to it. I'm like, wait, nope. Oh, wait, now we can start. Nope. Okay, now we can start. Nope. Okay, now we can start. Nope. Sit back and just listen. Stop trying to bob your head to shit because this band, as soon as you start getting comfortable, they're going to do something fucking drastically different. I'm waiting for, like, a crazy acoustic guitar interlude in the middle of this shit, probably. Who the fuck knows? But right now, it's just kicking ass right from the start. We're getting back into this shit. <laughs>
dropping shit. Now that was a cool fucking song. They said like kept it on their four quarter time and whatnot, but it was like, you know, four fours, whatever. But really fucking cool. Like, you know, they just kinda were like coming in at certain points, kind of dropping off on certain points, so you couldn't really keep with the flow until you could figure out what the flow was and then it was okay. Now I'm getting it. Now I'm seeing what the pattern is here. And yeah, then they start throwing crazy shit at you that you don't expect because they're roll path. That's what they do. There was one part though I remember it was about, about the four minute or so mark. It was like one point where I'm like watching it and I'm like looking at you know I'm like whoa, you know what I mean? Um, that particular moment, like around like that four fifteen four twenty mark, gave me vibes of like Smashing Pumpkins. Siamese Dream uh, the record when they had some songs that were like more like parts of songs that were more like laid back and softer and quieter and whatnot. there's a couple of those songs like from that record where it was like like Mayonnaise or uh, Soma and stuff like that where Luna and whatever were just like very quiet just like nice and chill nothing too crazy you know little soft drums going on in the back and fucking guitar just kind of like reverb and atmospherically whatever just kind of like very relaxed and that's there was a couple of points where they were doing that in the song but it was around the four minutes so mark when they came into it like that where i was sitting there i was like oh wow that sounds just like that that whole uh smashing pumpkins era on that record I mean, obviously, you know, the rest of the song was completely different from what uh, the Pumpkins do. But, and also another fucking great drummer, Jimmy, Jimmy Chamberlain. That dude needs to be, um, I mean, he he doesn't get as much recognition as he should. He's a fucking phenomenal drummer. So is this guy. Fucking dude, Opeth. Well, first off, everybody in Opeth is fucking awesome. And the songwriting is, you know, especially on this track, it was like so much going on. But they really weren't going too wild all over the place. It was kind of like, you know, it was like they had a set structure of different things they were doing, but they didn't go like, you know, way overboard. But it was funny though, and I was like watching at the, at the beginning of the video there, I was like, yeah, they're going to probably do some crazy shit because they're all that's what they do. And then fucking immediately come back to that point, and it was just like, as soon as they get to that next point, it's like, God damn it, I fucking know it. <laughs> it's like, you, you get thrown a curveball. And they had a couple curveballs in here, but they were all kind of, you know, very in line with, like, the song and whatnot. Because they have songs I've heard in the past where they'll just throw random ass shit for, like, one measure and never come back to it again, never touch it again. And you're just like, what the fuck, what, what was that, you know? These guys have a tendency to do shit like that. But, yeah, this was fucking great, though. I really like this. Yeah, I got quite a bit of uh, Opeth songs still to do for reactions. And of course, I've always, you know, if you got more, definitely comment below. Let me know. Check out the playlist as well. There's a lot of Opeth uh, reactions that I've done in the past. So this video will be on there as well. So I'll just, you know, go to my YouTube homepage, whatever, and look it up. And you'll be able to find it there. They're all there. So. All right. I'm going to end uh, the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave some comments, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. Oh, both. <laughs>